welcome to uh, MarcusG.TV. I am Chef Marcus Giuliano, Chef on a Mission, ChefOnAMission.com. Uh, today, uh, I'm going to talk about running. How, um, say hi, Eric. What's up? Eric and I just got done running on the mountain here in Cragsmore. We're in the car on our way back down into the El 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 Ellenville. Sam's Point. For, uh, Sam's Point is so beautiful. So, you know, I've been running for on and off for the last 10, 11 years. Eric, how long have you been running? Probably three years now. Or three, four years. Three or yeah. four years. And, uh, you know, people have always said to me, you know, you must have been a runner all your life. And, of course, I have not because I just told you how long we've both been running. We've not been runners all our life. A lot of people, you know, say, I want to do a marathon, I want to do a marathon, and this and that. And they go out there and they start training for a marathon and they get so frustrated because training for a marathon is a lot of work. You know, 26 miles is, is a lot to run. Of course, anybody can do it with the proper discipline and training and techniques. It's very easy to do. But most people don't have all of that. So they get very discouraged from running. And, they, you know, they just go right back to running their usual 5K routine, half an hour. And uh, that's what I did for years. You know, I've wanted to run a marathon for years. You too, right, Eric? Yeah, basically our goal was always a 5K. A 5K. Once in a while, we would run a little bit more distance, but the norm was a 5K right. for us. And we always said we want to run a marathon, but it was just too, too big of a, too big of a, a goal, I think, at the time to really even, with our lifestyles, to really comprehend doing all that training. Because they say you need a ton of training. I have friends who would train constantly for months to do it. So I heard Gary Null a couple, I don't know, two months ago, talk about training for a marathon, and then if you don't want to train for a marathon, how to just get as much benefits as running a marathon. Um, he claims that running six miles a day, five days a week, is the key to increasing your, I think he said like 10 to 15 years, increasing your, your, your lifespan, uh, and getting rid of blood pressure, cholesterol, uh, uh, weight. I mean, he says that ratio, six miles, five days a week is the ultimate running plan. So now in my mind it's like, well I don't have to do a marathon because I know marathon is, you know, just not conducive to my lifestyle. But I gotta tell you something, I've been doing this, what are we, what are we I've been doing this for what, 50 days now, Eric? You've probably been doing it about... Uh, Almost two full months. Two, yeah, about two full months yep. and I guess me about uh, three weeks, three and a half weeks. So every time I go out it's six miles or nothing. That's just what it is. I just carved out an hour out of every day and I went 14 straight days on six miles, and it's amazing. And of course, a lot of people are gonna say, well, we're not runners, I, I can't run, and this and that. Read the book Born to Run, and it'll prove that the human race is designed to run. The Achilles tendon we have is a shock absorber. It is for running, for, it's, it's for distance. We are born runners. Read the book Born to Run, and it'll, it'll really take all the excuses out of your life of why you can't run. And um, so the six times five, I mean, Eric and I sometimes do 10 miles back to back now. It's just like, you know, it's just like running that is nothing. I've improved my times in the last two months. My, I have my best times on 10Ks and 5Ks in the last 10 years. In fact, I have personal bests now. And it's just amazing. And I don't have to stress out about training for a marathon. And my times are so vastly improved. And I can run out. We ran a half marathon the other day, Eric and I, and it was just like, it was like nothing. And the way the body comes back now, like we used to run 5K, 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 and we go out and do a 10 mile day, and then we'd have to take the next day off because we were hurting, everything was sore. Right. Now we run 10 miles, it's just like running three, you know, it's like running a 5K. Now show them the picture of the valley coming down there. That's a beautiful view. Yeah, so it's just like our body, we never need to rest. I mean, we do rest. But very seldom, I mean, we can do 10 miles, 10 miles back to back. I mean, I've done 250 miles in the last 50 days. And I, did, I did 50 miles last week. I never thought there would be a week that I ran 50 miles. Right, so we're getting more results, better results. We're increasing our time, increasing our distance, and feeling much better. I'm, the weight's coming off of me by having a smaller goal of six miles a day, five days a week, instead of saying, I wanna go out and train for a marathon. And, you know, a marathon is quite possible. I mean, we just ran a half marathon today, like, it was nothing. And uh, so a, a marathon could possibly be, you know, maybe a couple more months of training like this. Because uh, I foresee myself doing more than six miles a day, and we're on more than six miles a day. But six miles minimum. And, uh, like I said, nine miles yesterday, 13 miles the other day. I ran a super hard, best personal best on a 10K race the other day. So uh, we're rocking it out. So think small, six times five, you know. 
make sure you consult a professional. Don't take our advice. This is just our experience of what what's, what has worked for us. This was massively working for us. But be active. Get out there and make sure you read like a. If you want to really increase your, your athletic performance, diet is essential. This blog is not on diet. This video. But if you want, go read 80-10-10, Dr. Douglas Graham, and he will uh, show you the ins and outs. That book will show you the ins and outs of how to achieve maximum performance out of your body from the food you eat. Moderation is a scam. Uh, trust me, moderation is a scam. When you eat, when you eat a cookie, ice cream, this crap, you know, and people say, oh, moderation, moderation. Screw moderation, it's a scam. Thanks for watching, guys. Happy running.